Welcome everybody, Josh Powell here. You're watching another episode of Amateur Pool. Today we've got an eight ball match between myself, <clears throat> Josh Powell, I'm a skill level seven, and Bill Gaffney, AKA Billy. Uh, he is a skill level six. I've known Billy a while though. He plays a little better than a six, you know what I mean? Um, looks like he won the lag. We're playing on the Valley tables today. Uh, there's only two Valley tables in this pool hall, but there's so many um, teams on this league that we have to rotate playing on the Valleys. Normally we play on diamond tables, <clears throat> um, but the two Valleys are open and they have to be used occasionally. Uh, they're a lot slower than the, the diamond tables. Um, so we have to account for that, obviously. They've got decent felt. It's a Predator felt. It's the first time I ever played on Predator felt. I thought it'd be faster, you know, but it's really not. It's definitely not Simonis. It doesn't play that fast. Um, Billy won the lag. He broke. He made a ball, and, and he's getting ready to take off. So let's see what he's got. Let's see what old Billy Bob can do. All right, he's going after the seven ball. He drew out. I think he was drawn out for the one ball, but he drew a little far, and now he's in a tough spot here. I'm not sure what he can make here. Um, I don't think he's got a real open shot. He could bank the five maybe. Um, I don't think he can put the two anywhere because that other stripe's blocking the cross side bank. He might be able to cut the three over to the, the top left pocket as we're looking at the table. Uh, and if it's a tough shot, but if he can make that, he would open his six up as well. That would be a great shot if, if, he, uh, if he could make it though. It's a real tough shot. He's going for the bank on the five. That's a good choice. Just a little short on the bank. Wow, that's going to bring me to the table. So let's see what I can do here. I am striped. So the race here, guys, eight ball. <clears throat> I have to win five games. He has to win four games. That's because he's a skill level six. And I'm a skill level seven. So, um, yeah, let's watch. I'm going to shoot that 11. Came over to shape the, the purple one, you know, whatever ball that is, you know, you know, you already know I'm not going to try to say it because I'm going to get it wrong. It's uh, the 12 ball, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to cut this in with right spin or I'm just going to miss it. You know, sometimes it's easier just to miss it. Play the safety, the unintentional safety. You know, I didn't mean to save him there, guys, but I did. <laughs> It's actually a great safety, too. I was actually trying to make that and come over and open those stripes up up there in the corner so I can try to run out. But um, I missed the shot, and uh, thankfully I missed the shot because I got hooked. I would have hooked myself had I made that shot. I should have hit that quite a bit harder and paid a lot more attention to the aim. You know, I just kind of got up there and took the aim for granted because it was so close to the pocket. Uh, looked at my shape more so than the aim and missed the shot. That happens a lot, guys, you know. You know, you guys do it too. Everybody does it. Well, not, yeah, yeah. No, I think everybody does it. Even pros do it sometimes. You know, we've all seen it. We've all seen them miss easy shots because they're not paying attention to the aim. <sighs> Billy was kicking to try to make that one ball off two rails, um, but he ended up hitting my stripes and I've got ball in hand. Still not the easiest layout here though because the um, that cluster I have up there, the nine... The 9, 12, 10, 15, that cluster is rough. And then I've got the um, the purple <laughs> the purple one down here that's blocked by the 1. So I think um, I'm going to try to play a safety here is what I'm doing. I'm going to open up the purple one down here and hook them again. It worked out okay. That worked out okay. So now he's hooked pretty pretty good. You know, he's got a pretty good hook here. See what he does to get out of it. I think he'll make a good hit here. He could kick one rail off the long rail to our right. Um, try to hit the... He could actually try to make that five ball if he wants. Or he could kick off the other rail and just hit the two uh, three six. You know, whatever he wants to do here. There's a few good ways to make a good hit. I'd go for that five ball, man, because with my 13 sitting there, that side pocket over there is, is going to play a lot bigger. You could miss it, um, miss the shot, and the five will still hit the 13 and could still go into the pocket. So I think that's what he's doing, it looks like. Oh, no, he came down for the one. 
Missed it. Missed his kick. I would have bet he was going to make a good hit there, but that's what I know. You know, nothing. <laughs> I don't know nothing, guys. I don't know nothing. I don't know much. I'm not going to sing. I already promised in a, in a video before I wasn't going to sing, guys. So <laughs> I'm going to keep up my promise, even though I just actually broke it and sung a lyric. Slow roll on the... Um, the nine, that's going to leave me the shot on the 10, but I am jacked up on this shot, guys. And I'm short, you know. I'm only like 6'8". <laughs> I can't, I'm not 6'8". I can't reach that shot because I am short, you know, 5'7", five, 5'8", five, somewhere in there. And I can't reach that shot even on a small table. So I had to resort to a bridge, man, unfortunately. I hate it. I hate it, but I had to do it. Jeez, you think it's the first time I ever took a drink before, you know? Okay, did okay with that bridge shot. I mean, it was a little shaky. I don't use a bridge very often, guys, so if you see me use a bridge, cross your damn fingers, you know? <laughs> That's all we can do, cross our fingers. All right, I'm on that 15, but I've got to address those three balls lined up on that other rail over there. So it looks like I can make this 15 and come right in between. Yep, right where my stick's at. Come right in between the two eight, bounce off the bottom rail, the short rail, and then bounce back up for uh, either the combo or shoot the 13. Oh, I grazed the eight. I know I didn't want to do that. I know I didn't want to do that. I might have ended up perfect on that uh, green stripe, though. Um, which one is a green? Green one's a 14, I'm, I'm fairly sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, six plus eight is 14. So that's the green one. All right, I played that with inside to come three rails around the two. And now I believe I got a shot on that 12 ball. It's a, it's a thin one, though. I underhit that shot quite a bit to come around. Like I said, this felt slow. So um, getting used to the, the speed of this table is a little different for me. It's not quite as slow as a regular bar box with a valley, you know, what you see in the bar. Uh, so you, you can't just hit everything super hard with stun. Uh, you can finesse it a little bit, but you have to hit it a little more firm than, you, than you're than you used to because it definitely does not play as fast as Simonis. This particular table. I made that cut, but um, I tried to put right spin just to come below the side pocket and back over for my shot on the 13, and I uh, ended up scratching in the side pocket. So Billy Boy's got ball in hand. Did a good job on that six, lined himself up dead on the three in the side. I don't see him taking the two here. The three is the way to go. And if he can just stop this, it'll drift down table a little bit, and he'll have the two or the five next. That'll work. I would take the two here, uh, withdraw, because that'll take you up dead straight on the five, and that five you can do a stop shot to the one. That's what he's doing. That's, a, that's the best way to take it, I think, in that position. You know, he got perfect on that five ball. This should be it for the first game here, guys. It looks like I'm going to go down one nothing, Unless there's a catastrophic error here by Billy, I doubt I'm going to win this first game. It's that scratch. That scratch killed me. Plus, like I said, I, I know Billy, guys. He's As far as like skill levels go, he's a solid B player. Um, I'm, just, I'm not sure why he's a six in APA. You know what I mean? I don't think he sandbags. He definitely wasn't sandbagging when he played me. Uh, I think he just uh, maybe just has a bad record in the, in the APA league matches. But I've played him in tournaments before, man. He's a pretty tough shot. Real tough shot, actually. He's beaten me a few times in tournaments. He's going to knock this eight in. He didn't get as straight as he wanted, but he'll, he'll handle this. Yep. One to zero. You know what I mean? And if you just looked at that, I owe you two, you know? <laughs> you guys know that game, I'm sure, right? The old circle game. I'm so, why am I so immature, guys? You know, I have no idea. It's just the way I am. Jeez, I'm in my 40s, 43 years old. Uh, one of these days I might grow up. I doubt it. I doubt it. That's no fun. Who wants to grow up? I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. There I go again, guys. Sorry. I'm sorry about that. 
Man, oh man. Oh, all this talking makes me thirsty. Let me get a non-sponsored drink here. All right. Billy broke. It looks like he's stripes. He's on his way out here. He drew back for the 13. If he draws off the 13, he'll hit the 2 and be dead on the 11, but he's got to be careful not to push that 2 into his 9 ball because uh, that could be uh, make the table a lot tougher for him. He did, he did a good job with that. Just bumped it enough to get on the uh, 11 without pushing it over to the 9. It's not easy to do that. It looks like he can just roll this one softly with top and then use the 6 to stop right there for a shot on the 9. I don't know if that's what he's trying or not. Looks like he might be. Yeah. He grazed the edge of the six. Maybe it had more angle than I could tell from, from the camera. Um, or maybe he just off hit it a little bit into the side of the pocket or something. But either way, he's on that nine now. It's not it's a little more angle than he wanted for sure. I think he may have to come up for the fifteen after this shot or bump the ten. But bumping the ten's dangerous. That's why. You know, you don't want to bump stuff if you can help it. Uh, if it's already open, don't bump it, man. There are some instances where I'll bump balls um, when they're open, but only when I'm, like, super confident I know exactly where the cue ball is going to hit it at. If um, I won't bump stuff willy-nilly on purpose if it's already open. You know, I will use, like, a ball to stop myself and get shapes sometimes. I'll bump into a ball and stop for shapes. But, like I said, it's always dangerous when you do that. And really the only time you should do it is when you're feeling good and you know the cue ball is gonna gonna hit its mark. You know, if you're unsure about your stroke or anything, definitely don't be trying to run into balls. You won't know what's gonna happen. You don't know what be happening. All right, he's kicking the hit. Oh, the cue ball hopped a little bit. He might have he might have grazed the edge of that 10 had the cue ball not jumped off the rail. I don't know if you guys saw that. Rewind the tape, watch it back. He hit the rail, the cue ball hopped slightly, and I think it might have just jumped over the edge of his stripe there. I'm calling it the 10 because I can only see a part of the stripe from here, but it, I mean, it could be the, the 12 also. I'm not sure. All right. Started with the 1 to open up the bottom of the table, and then I'm going up table for the 3. And the reason I did that is I wanted to open those balls up down at the bottom before I cleared the top, but I wanted to finish on the bottom end of the table because that's where my eight ball shot's going to be into that side pocket. So I took the, the one first to open those up and make it easier to shape when I was done with the top end of the table. And then I went up top, cleared those three balls and I'm coming back down. I'll probably uh, draw off this and come over for either the two or the six. Yeah. Could have followed it too, but that shot's a little harder to control. That draw has a little more control on it. Um, uh, when you have a tight angle like that to cut. Six came up nice for the five. I can just draw this back a little bit and be uh, straight on the two, and then it's a stop shot from the two or a draw shot, either way. Yep. I could actually follow if I have an angle here. I could follow off that short rail and back over. It just depends on what my angle is. It looks like I'm going to follow, so yeah, perfect. Side pocket. We're calling pockets, guys, not marking pockets. Billy and I know each other well. He's a friend of mine, so um, we're not we're not marking. It takes too much damn time to mark pockets. I know the APA wants you to mark your pocket every time. And when I'm in big tournaments and stuff, of course, I'm going to mark my pocket because I'm not an idiot and I'm not going to lose my game that way. Um, but when you're just playing league, you know, especially with people you play every week and you know them well and, and you guys agree, hey, we're okay calling the pocket, Hell with all that marking stuff. You know what I mean? APA rules be damned. What do you think of that, league operators? Huh? I'm not marking shh no more. See what I did there, guys? I was about to cuss, but didn't. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm basically a genius for doing that. Not quite. All right, back to the game. Back to our regular schedule pro regularly scheduled program. Man, that, that, why is that word so hard to hit? So hard to no, but it is a bit, a bit about. Yeah. Why is the word regularly so hard to say? Say it to yourself right now. Go ahead. Say it three times fast. Ha, ah, little Timmy. I knew you were going to do it. I knew you were going to do it. I knew you'd fall for that. 
<laughs> now, I don't know. Some words are just hard to say fast, you know, regularly. Regularly. Feels like there's too many syllables in it or something. I don't know. I don't know. Back to the match, though, guys. Stop distracting me, though, Timmy. Trying to, trying to commentate a match here, and you're distracting me. You know? What am I supposed to do? Got to keep an eye on this match. Little Timmy's over there talking about regularly. 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 All right. It's enough, Josh. Cut it out. Cut it out. Meanwhile, Billy's running out on me over here. If he's got this two-ball shot, he's got a good opportunity to run out. If he can make this two here, come back up to around the middle of the table. <clears throat> oh, he just drew over for the uh, three. That's a good shot. Good shot, Billy. All right, what's he going to do? Maybe straight top? No, he, he's thinking about it. He's putting top on it. Straight top, come out and hit the one maybe. Oh, he came over for the seven. I would have put a little more left spin on it and bumped the one because you're always going to come away with a shot on that five ball there. Uh, in that situation, it would have been hard to get hooked bumping a ball uh, because if you hit the, the top side of the one, you got the five. Hit the bottom side of the one, you still got the seven. The only bad thing that really could have happened is to push the one into another straight. But I don't think he would have done that coming from the angle he was at. I think he most likely would have pushed the one towards the middle top of the table, depending on how hard he hit it. Now he's got a real tough shot. This is a cut that I hate, and I think probably most people hate. Except Billy. Billy don't hate it. Billy fires it in, you know? Jeez. This guy's a monster over here. A skill level six monster. You know what I mean? Skill level six monster. He's got that one ball straight up. <clears throat> he's got to be careful about that five ball, though, because he, he's going to drift over. Yeah. And I don't think the five goes past the eight. It might. I would take a good hard look at putting that five past the eight because that's going to that's gonna shape him on the eight ball perfectly if he can do it. He's looking at it right now, pulling his pants up. Billy, wear a belt. Wear a belt, bro. All right, if he can cut this straight up, he's golden. He's got me beat again. If not, he's got to try to cut it inside, man, and that cue ball is going to head up table towards the nine or ten. Uh, and he may not come away with a shot on the eight if he does it that way. He's looking. He's going to cut it in the side. He's looking at his shape, his shape line, you know, shape line. You like how I did that shape line? Okay, made the shot. Bumped into that green one. That's a 12 ball. Getting better, guys. Getting better, you know, 12 ball. <laughs> All right. Now this eight ball, eight ball shot is no easy task here. Ladies and gentlemen, he's going to try to back cut bank. This is a difficult back cut, and he's got to hit it firm because he's not catching much of the ball. Oh, ooh, very good try at it. That's a tough shot. Very good attempt there, Billy. All right, he kind of left me awkward too. I'm, I might be able to make the 12 in the side. But if that, I'm looking at the 13 right now. If the 13 goes in the other side, I want to shape that after the after the uh, 14. <laughs> the 14 goes in the right side as we're looking at the table, and if the 13 goes in the left side, I'm gonna shape that right away. Because I need to. Those are my only problems. I need to address them. Yep. Got it. And the 13 must go because I shaped it nice. Either that or I'm going to play a safety here and just stop stop shot and leave him hooked behind that um, the green ball. Okay, it went. Looks like I had to... Excuse me, guys. Whew. Looks like I had to spin it a little bit. Put some spinach on it like Popeye, you know. Okay. Made that shot with right spin. That's all that oh, straight right spin there, guys. I don't think I even used draw. Um, the right spin just took it off the rail. I'm on the 11. I'll probably just stop it right there and shoot that 14 in the uh, the left side pocket. Follow forward for the 15, and I should be out here, guys. Dare I say it? Dare I even say it? But I think I'm out. It's a reality, guys. As long as I don't screw this shape up on the eight ball, I'm looking good in the neighborhood. Mm, 
came out a little far now that side pocket right there with this the doom the pending scratch of doom makes this shot a little uncomfortable it's really not a hard shot though and you're not going to scratch if you use draw so you just got to get that pocket out of your mind and make the shot like i did there all right looking at two to one my break i'm going to hit the second ball bottom right spin try to get it to come off the rail and back into the pile like that made the five not sure if I made anything else or not. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it looks like I made a solid and a straight. So it's an open table for me here. I need to punish them. I need to punish them. I need to get myself a good lead because Billy can run out. I know Billy. He can run out. So I got to get a good lead. I cannot let off the gas here. Can't do it. I'm putting right spin to try to break out the three ball. Yeah, I was trying to come back and break that three ball out because that three ball doesn't go anywhere right now. But instead, I hit his stripe, stop down there. So now I've only got a couple options. I can cut the seven into the side. I think I'm looking at the two. I don't think I can hit the one from here. It's hard to tell. Can you guys see when you do this? Is it a better angle? Because for me, it doesn't help. You know, it's two dimensional. But I got to try it every now and then. Got to try it. I'm cutting the two. Cutting the two. That's because I don't want to take away my balls down here by the three because I need those to break the three out. Instead, I put the two in trouble. Jeez. I missed the shot. Put the two into a tough spot. I don't even know how the two got over there. It was all the way up table. That's crazy. Crazy talk. It's like defies the laws of physics or something, you know? Billy's playing safety. Smart. Smart to play safety. I think he left me an angle off the seven ball. I may be able to stun over, break out the three and the two with this shot. And I'll come away with a shot on either the four or the one. Or I could probably use top and come two rails and do it as well. Ooh, I got the three out. Just didn't get the one. I should have I should have stunned into those instead of coming from underneath, I think. <clears throat> Might have worked out better. Now I got a real thin cut on the four, or I can shoot the three. I don't want to shoot the three because that's my breakout ball for the two. So I'm going to thin cut this four. Probably come two rails up for the one, I bet. Oh, I, I hit that hard, but I had to hit it firm because the, um, uh, the four was such a thin cut. If I'd have hit that much softer, I might not have made it. Now the only shot I have to look at here is the three ball. And what sucks about that is the three ball... I need that three ball to break out the two. That's what I was just looking at. I need that three ball to break out the two. So what do I do? What do I do here, guys? Do I lay up, play a safety, just push the three over by this bottom left corner pocket and leave him down table? Hope he doesn't get out. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, I went for the shot. Oh, you know what I was looking at a minute ago? I couldn't figure it out. I was looking to see if the two banks... So the two can actually bank into that side pocket on the right. That's what I was just looking at again. Yep. So if I can get down to that position, you know, I may have the line to super draw, like a, like a real hard draw, and come two rails and break the two out, but I'm, I don't know if I'm going to get a shot if I do that. I should just draw it back and take the bank. I, that, that would be the smarter, safer way to play it. If I, uh, if I try to break this two out, it's very risky. That's exactly what I'm trying to do, though. What a maroon. What a maroon. Hey, I'm not sure I have that stroke. <laughs> to zip it back like that, two rails, and break out the two. B, it wasn't the right shot. You know, I should have drew it back and played the bank cross side. That would have been a much, uh, much safer shot as far as risk. Because even if I had broke that two out, there's nothing saying I'm going to get a shot there. Oh, that's pretty good safety for him, you know, for only having one ball on the table. I think he can combo and make the 12, though. Um, the one hanging right there in the side pocket, I think it's a 12 ball. I think. But I'm not 100%. I think it's a 12. He's shooting at the 11. He's going to play me safety again. Yep. I knew it. He got a good safety this time. Got back behind the uh, eight ball. Man, this is tough here. 
tough acting to knack and oh unless he gave me the gap oh, I don't think that gap's available oh I'm elevating I'm gonna jump I'm gonna jump over a, sl a sliver of the ball yep I had to jump over a little piece of the eight ball man look how lucky I got there that ball came back all the way up table I did leave him a combo here the 11 into the 14 he can get out he can get out here I would start with that combo I might even draw off this combo and shape the 15 next. Oh, he rolled it. Okay, now he's got the 13. He's still in good shape. He could also shoot the 11 first. Okay, he's going to shoot the 13. That's what I like too, shooting the 13 and drifting over for the 15 next. Yep. Now he can shoot this and shape the 11. And as long as he gets the right angle on the 11, he can make the 11 and just bounce off the side rail and back out for the uh, 14. Right in the same pocket as the 11. And Billy's got a good chance to be out here. Pretty sure. Oh, he came all the way down for the, the 9. I personally probably would have played the 9 last because it's it's not hard to shape the 8 ball from there. Um, not, because then you only have to move the cue ball one time. The way he did, he's got to move the cue ball a couple times, you know. Mm. Man, he left me. He left me nothing again. The only thing I think here that works to my favor, the 11 and the 14 make that side pocket big because the 11 and 14 act as a backboard. So if I can figure out a way to hit the two from underneath uh, and hit it up, that side pocket's really big because all I got to do is hit that two right and it'll, it should go in off of one or both of those balls. That's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at going three rails, top rail, Right side rail, bottom rail, and up towards the two. That was a tough shot to even hit, though. <clears throat> yeah, let's see. Oh. Ooh. Oh. It's about as close as you can get without actually making it there. Man, I can't believe that. All right, I left him either a combo or a cut on the nine. I like the combo here, A, because you're not jacked up over the, the ball when you shoot it. And B, if he shoots the nine first, my ball now has a side pocket blocked, which is ultimately where both of those other stripes are, are going to want to go. I, I like the combo here. That really opens the table for him, shooting that combo. He's looking at it, too. I think that's the way he likes it. Yep. He's eyeballing her up. If he makes this, he'll probably get out on me. Ooh. He did not make it. Where that 11 ball ended up kind of plays this a little, little tricky for me. I either have to go behind the 11 ball, or I'm looking right now, I'm looking to run into the 11 ball. This is where your stun shot comes in handy, guys, because you know that tangent line. You know where your cue ball is going to go. <clears throat> you just got to play it right. Bank. That worked out nice. Corner pocket. And I'll be up three to one. Ain't it fun? Where's the sun? I'm so dumb. I can keep going, guys. I can rhyme all day. <laughs> all right, second ball break, bottom right. Off the rail and back into the stack. That was a nice break. It's dry, though, I think. It's dry. I didn't, I didn't hit it firm enough. Man, but that break was... was um, textbook as far as the action on the balls and the cue ball I just didn't make anything sometimes that's the case though you know can't always break and run guys you know especially me in fact I rarely well not I wouldn't say rarely <laughs> I can break and run just not I break and run less often than I do you know I break and run less often than I don't how do you say that my break and run percentage is low it's maybe around 20%. What would that be? Two out of 10? Yeah. Yeah, it's about right. 20%. I think it's about right. Really, it's probably about 5% or 0.5%, you know? you know. Don't laugh, little Timmy. I see you over there. I see you over there. All right, Billy's off and running with these solids. Made a nice shot on that five. 
Got good shapes on this three. If he can hit this three with draw and come up towards the top of the table, he can shoot the four or the six next. And either of those balls will lead him to the seven. He's got a good out here. He's got a, ooh, he under hit that. He let off his stroke. Um, he was afraid to hit it too hard, so he let off his stroke and under hit it. If he would have hit that firm, if he would have stroked all the way through that, his cue ball would have came up table perfect. And he would have been able to make that four into the side and follow forward for the six or the seven. Probably the seven first, then the six, because the six shapes the eight. If that all made sense to you. Sometimes I just talk gibberish, you know, and it doesn't make sense to anybody. I mean, that's just, it's just what I do, you know. <laughs> no way around it. No way around it, guys. Basically, I have diarrhea of the mouth sometimes, you know. Oh, he's going to cut this seven. That's a tough cut. Ooh. Oh, and he blocked my pocket up, belly. You blocked my damn pocket. It's my pocket. And you took it from me. You're a thief. You're a pocket thief. All right. Slow roll here. Yep. Leave the cue ball there. Now I'm going to shoot the nine into the seven. A. Eh? My goal is to try to get the nine to follow the seven in. But I'm also going to stop it right there um, as best I can. Because then if I don't make my nine, I'll hook him on his six. It's a two-way shot. I'm looking to check because I lost control of the cue ball a little bit. I didn't completely stop it. It drifted, so I wanted to make sure I didn't leave him the shot. <clears throat> I don't think I did. I don't think I did leave him the shot. <laughs> Cut it out, little Timmy. Cut it out. Yeah, if he can't if he can't hit this clean, I'm not sure he can hit it off one rail going this way. Oh, he did just the edge of it too. That was a good hit. That was not easy. I know it was tight. I know it was tight. All right, start with the combo. I'll shape the 14 rather than trying to control the nine. I'll just shape the 14 and play the nine uh, shot or two later. <clears throat> What am I going to do here? Am I going to draw straight back? Probably going to, if I'm straight, I'll draw straight back for the nine. A little, little too much, but that's okay. I got to be careful about the 11, um, 11, 12 here though. Got to be careful about those. Yeah, see, I was coming three rails around toward, I wanted to come up towards the middle of the table. It's just, I'd, I struggled with speed at, on this table for sure. I struggled with speed because everything, I was under hitting stuff a lot, expecting it to roll a little bit more because the felt looks like Simonis. And it kind of feels like Simonis. It just does not play like Simonis. So I compensated there and overhit the ball, hit it too hard. So I'm working at getting the speed right, you know. I'm not playing the best speed right now. <clears throat> but that that's what happens, you know. You play a new table, you got to get used to the speed. Uh, the pros can adjust to that very quickly. Like within a rack or two, usually they'll be adjusted on the speed. And every once in a while, I can as well. But um, a lot of times it takes me it takes me a little longer to get adjusted. So I, I overhit that one as well, it looks like. I think I was probably going for the side pocket there. That was smart to just stop shot and take a longer shot on the eight. Because if I try to get better shape on the eight, a lot can go wrong there, you know. <clears throat> and it's smart of me to take my time and make sure I focus on this shot as well. All right, this is the important shot. It's the one I don't want to miss, so I want to make sure to take my time on it. All right, I'm on the hill, guys. I'm on the hill. Hill to one. So I need one. He needs three. Oh, and he scratched. He scratched. Side pocket scratchola. Open table for me. I got to shoot from behind the line in the kitchen, they call it. It's above the head string where I put the ball, you know, where you break from. Um, APA is not ball in hand anywhere if you scratch on the break. It's behind the line.
I wonder if, uh, does my sound quality a little better? I moved, I'm in a different room doing this today because uh, I noticed this is a bad echo uh, usually when I'm, when I'm recording in the, the man cave, the basement. My floors are all hard in there and stuff, so there's a lot of echo. Uh, so I came upstairs to do this and see, uh, and see if it's any better. Let me know. Comment. Let me know if it's any better. And while we're at it, subscribe, guys. I appreciate you. You know, I think we're uh, about 8,200 subscribers now and uh, growing. And, man, I appreciate the hell out of it. So much support from you guys. That's all I'm going to say about it, you know. I'm not going to start crying. I'm not crying. You're crying. <laughs> I'm not crying. You're crying. All right. <clears throat> so I'm straight. I'm looking good. I got on that 11 now. I can just uh, drift forward slightly for the 9. Why am I drawing? I'm going to draw back, it looks like, for the 9. I don't know why I'm doing that. Yeah, I didn't like that because now look at my angle here. I want to roll forward and get the 10 next, but I'm off angle. If I would have drifted forward, I could have made the 9 in the other side and just drew it back slightly. But now... With the forward shape, when I make the 9 bottom left corner, I'm going to roll forward for the 10. The angle I have is probably going to take me into the 7. So I'm going to end up with a tough shot on this 10 ball. I would have had a much easier shot if I rolled forward on that last one and drew back off the 9, shooting it in the other side. Yeah, look at this. Ah, Yeah, if I would have played that the other way, I probably would have got out here, I bet. But now, in order to get out, I've got to make this tough shot jacked up over the seven. And it's no bueno. It's no bueno. You know? Do you know? Do you know what I'm talking about, man? Do you know? No? Oh, do you know? Who's Juno? You know? Who's Juno? I think it's a city in Alaska, if I'm not. But if you're from Alaska, if you're from Juno, Alaska, leave me a comment, man, because I'm not sure I've. I look at my analytics sometimes for the geography. I'm not sure I've ever seen Alaska in there. Probably not too many pool tables up in Alaska. Let me know, though. If you're from Alaska or if you spent time in Alaska, let me know. Is there a pool scene up there? Maybe I can get up that way one of these years. I'd love to go to Alaska anyway. And if they got a pool scene, that'd be a great excuse. You know? Let me know. I'm seriously curious about that. If you know anything about the pool world in Alaska, let me know in the comments. I got to know. Got to know. Inquiring minds. Got to know. All right. He gave me another shot, but not, not a clean one. Yeah, I'm looking at playing that 10 off of the 8, which means I can't see a whole lot of that 10. I can't see enough to make it, and I probably can't see enough to bank it one rail back down because I would take that over this carom shot. So I'm trying to play the 10 off of the 8 up into that corner. Chances are slim. Chances are slim. This is more of a Hail Mary type shot, but I've got nothing else. There's no, no good safety here. The only safety I see that I could try is to barely graze the left side of the 10 with top and try to get the cue ball up behind the 14. But that shot's so hard. Yeah, I was trying it. And believe it or not, I wasn't that far off. If I would have hit a little more on the left, of that eight ball, that 10 would have rolled up. Although I'm not sure I had enough power into it to really make it. Well, geez, man, he played a good, uh, got me safe. He got me safety, safe, safety. He played a safety on me and got the ball back. So let's see what he does with it. Let's see how he moves the rock. See if he can play some stones, marbles, if you will. It's like playing marbles only with a stick on a big table, and big marbles. Good shot, that was good control. Good control on that one, Billy. Follow forward slightly here, yep. <clears throat> he wants a six ball next, but he's dangerously close to hooking himself on that three ball for the six. I think he's still got it though. It's a little tight, but I think he's got it. He can play it with top left and come back over for the seven ball, or he could play it with right and shoot the three ball next. I like using right here because you can shape the three or the one. Yeah, he played it a little softer than I would have, but it, it worked out. He's got a shot on the three, just not an easy one. I don't think he's got the shot on the one. 
So yeah, it's tough action to act in here, boy. Tough action. What's he going to do here? Is he going to try to cut the three? Is he going to try to bank the three? I mean, he's played me a few safeties already. He may try to safety me on the seven. I think it's what he's looking at right now. No, he's walking around. Oh, see a shirt, MKX? Comment if you know what that is. Leave a comment if you know. Little Timmy knows. I can tell. He's one of those types. I can tell. I know. All right, yeah, he played the safety. He might have left me the 10 ball, though. It's not an easy shot from way back there, but he might have left it for me. I can't tell. If he did leave it for me, I got a good chance to get out and win. How much time is left in this video? Am I going to win right here? I don't know. Don't look. Don't look. You're cheating. You're cheating if you look at the time. I see you. I saw you, Timmy. Look at the time. Hmm. I think I was trying to hit more on the left side of that and get him up table. I must not have had the shot because I was trying to play a safety there. I wanted his cue ball on the top rail. But the 10 ball came back and double kissed it because I didn't pay attention to where I was hitting the ball. Where I was hitting the 10 ball. He's probably going to make me pay for that, though. I don't see him not getting out here. That was a good shot. He's got just enough angle on this 7. He can stun up for the three, or he could uh, use a little draw with left and come up for the three as well. Looks like he's going to use the draw. Oh, he's stunned. I thought he was lining up towards the bottom of the cue ball, and then he stunned it, so he, he tricked me. You're a tricky guy, Billy. Tricky, tricky. Call him Tricky Dicky. And his name's not even Richard. Oh, using inside spin, see? Talking about skill level six, using all that inside spin on that shot. Using all that inside spin on that shot. Okay, I gave him another one. Two to four. He took that one. He played a couple good safeties. I made a mistake. Another dry break? What's going on, guys? Can I please finish this match? Can I please just finish the match? Man, oh, man. Don, oh, my. Comment. You know who said that. Name and or show. Whichever. I give you, I give you points for either if you can name the character or the show. You get 10 points. If you name them both, you get 20 points. And when you get to a million points... You won. I don't know what you won, but you won something. Maybe a free car, free house. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not keeping track. Either you got to keep track of your own points, you know? I just issue points. <laughs> That's funny. I said, you know, giving away houses and cars. Uh, a lot of YouTubers do that, man. Those big YouTubers, Mr. Beast and them. Those guys are unreal. I think if I... If I ever made the kind of money off YouTube they do, I would do, I would do, uh, you know, pool table giveaways, giveaway. I would give away a ton of stuff too, probably cars and all that stuff. It'd be fun. It'd be fun to do giveaway, <clears throat> giveaway stuff, bless people, play matches with people, and uh, or do do challenge matches and give them a thousand bucks if they beat me or ten thousand bucks if they beat me. Yeah, right though. Not uh, not even anywhere near that spectrum right now, you know. And who knows? I mean, pool's not the biggest sport in the world, so I, I may ne never get to that many viewers. I mean, it's, it's almost impossible when you're just doing pool stuff, you know. But we can dream. We can dream. I have a dream. Who's that? Everybody knows that. Come on. Little Timmy, don't laugh. You know who that is. Meanwhile, I'm playing like SH asterisk T, you know, censored, censored again, censored myself. You notice me kicking back in my chair here, guys. I'm upstairs. I'm at my, I'm at my actual desk where I do most of my editing. Um, so I actually have a comfortable chair up here. So I'm sitting back. I apologize if I look too relaxed for you, you know. You try sitting here for hours on end commentating. 
keep thinking of stuff to say. <laughs> you need to relax sometimes, you know, you need to relax. Those guys who know what that MKX is, they know how to relax. They know how. I think he's going to beat me here, guys. I mean, he's he's got a good out here. He's going to make the 15. Oh, I thought he was going to slow roll it and shoot the 14 up top. He decided to pull back for a longer shot. This isn't a bad way out, though. This is a good way out. He's got a nice angle on this 13, too. He can stun. That'll bring him over to the left side of the table. He can shoot the 14. Oh, he, be, he used a little top and got a little funny. He got a little funny on it. But I think he still has the, the 14 down in this bottom right corner. And if he just does a, a stop shot, he'll still be on his 12. And he can draw off the 12 for the 8 ball. Still a good chance he's out here, guys. I may be doomed. I may be doomed in this match. You know what I'm saying? I may be doomed. Yep. He played that nice. He, didn't, he had a little angle, so instead of doing a stop shot, he stunned off the rail and back. Oh, he's a rail rubber. You guys seen those people that rub the rails before they shoot? I've known quite a few of them. I wonder, that's like a thing. A lot of people do that I've seen. They just rub the rail before they shoot. It's kind of their pre-shot. It's part of their pre-shot routine. Ooh, he, he, if he's on this eight ball, he got lucky because he let off his stroke there. Um, nope, he didn't get on it. He let off his stroke, that's why. He let off his stroke. He's kicking at it, oh, it's a good kick over in that corner. And if he does the right speed, he can block my pocket. He blocked the pocket a little bit. He's making my life tough here. Um, it looks like the six could go past the three up into that corner. Either way, though, I'll probably play it with a little draw and hook him. So that way, even if I don't make the six, I hook him for the eight. And if I do make the six, I'll have a shot on the two. That's exactly what I did. It was tight up there. I think I could have made it, though. I think I was thinking more about the safety than the shot there. Again, you know, thinking about my shapes rather than the shot. But that was that was a crucial one to do, though, because I was playing a two-way there. And I think I, I wanted the safe more than I wanted the shot. Because in order to put my full attention into that shot, I might have might have left him a shot had I missed, and I didn't want to take that chance being Hill Hill. So I was going more for safety than shot there. So I'm not upset about that. It's a good, good tough leave here. I've got advantage in this rack now, you know, unless he kicks this in like Efren Ray is. He's looking for a good way. I don't see a real good way to hit this, honestly. Well, I see a good way to hit it. I just don't see a good way to make it. <laughs> Let's see what Bill comes up with. Oh, Bill Gaffney. Let's see what he comes up with here. <sighs> oh. Oh. Sorry about that going, guys. It's <clears throat> I think it's around 3 p.m. and it's Friday, you know? Happy Friday to everybody. Hope you guys enjoy the weekend. If you got any big plans this weekend, you playing any big tournaments or anything, let me know. I think I'm going to play a qualifier tournament Saturday. <clears throat> I did not try to qualify for Vegas last year. This year I said to myself, I'm absolutely going to try to qualify. So I'm going to play a qualifier tournament on Saturday. Wish me luck, boys. In fact, give me some love in the comments. Good luck on your qualifier, Josh. I need to get my way out to Vegas this year so I can go out there and bring you guys some content. Probably meet a bunch of you out there too, you know. <clears throat> if you guys go out to Vegas, I'm probably going to go out to Vegas either way, I imagine. Uh, even if I don't qualify, but it'd be way cooler if I did, you know. Be a whole lot cooler if I did. Oh, is he going three rails? Oh, good hit. He was trying to come off the four and make it in the side, I think. I think he did call the side there. But yeah, that'd be cool. We go out to Vegas this year, guys. And uh, if you see me walking around, come on up. Talk to me, you know. If you go to APA Vegas Nationals. Come up and have a chat with me. If we're able to, we'll play a game. You know, we jump on a practice table and play one. Maybe I can even grab a practice table and, and film some challenge matches. That'd be fun, too. We have a good time out there in Vegas. If you guys have never been out there for the APA Nationals, it's pretty cool. 
even if you don't think you have a chance of winning, which a lot of people don't in reality, you do in your skill level. If you make it to Vegas, you do have a shot to win um, in your skill level. <clears throat> just have to keep your head down. But even if you, even if you're not planning on going out there to win, it's a good time out there. Go out there and have fun. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on. You meet a lot of, a lot of people, a lot of pros are out there. It's pretty cool. I got, how did I get so straight on this stupid one ball, man? This, I had an easy run out here and I messed it up by getting straight on this one. Oh, that's why I tried to cheat it. I tried to cheat it because I didn't want to be stuck on that rail for my next shot. I should have just made it and took the two ball off of the rail. You know, it would have been a whole lot better than losing the match because that's what I'm about to do here, guys. That's it. That's it. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, I thought he had... I thought he already had three, but he didn't. Oh, man. I thought I was done for there, guys. I still got another chance to stay alive. Man. Thought I was done. Got to go back and correct my score. That's the problem is when I was editing, I put the wrong score in for him. That's why I was thinking it was over. I was like, oh, man, it's over. No, sir. No, sir. I've got another game to pull this off. See if I can do it. See if I can do it. He had a good good break there, too. Good break. I'm not sure what kind of starter shots he's got here, though. Nothing easy. Oh, move your head. We can't see you, Billy. Did it hit the rail? Nope. Nope. Billy's an honest guy. He'll let me know if he didn't hit the rail. He'll let me know. He's one of those honest pool players as well. Those are the best kind. Don't be one of those shady pool players, guys. I know it's it's tempting because you want to win so bad, you know. Your um your competitive nature kicks in, and if they didn't see the foul, you you want to get away with it, right? Um, but don't don't be that guy. Don't be that guy because people see it. You know, even if not your if your opponent didn't see it, someone else off the table sees it, and then you end up with the reputation of the guy who tries to cheat. You, nobody wants that. Not even that. Have some integrity, you know. Integrity is doing the right thing when nobody's watching. So even if nobody else sees the bad hit except you, call yourself on it, man. You'll feel a lot more rewarded in life, you know. Unless you're playing somebody in a money match for $10 million. Then forget what I said. Get away with it, you know. <laughs> No, I mean, don't do that, guys. That's just bad. That's bad. It's bad karma. It looks bad on you. You know, people don't like playing with you no more. Don't do that. If you make a bad hit, tell your opponent, hey, I've made a bad hit. Oh, that what a good shot, Josh. I don't know if you guys saw what I did there. Rewind it. I had two problem areas, and I solved both of them with my ball and hand shot. That was slick. Man, I'm happy. I'm happy that my on-screen self knows how to play. You know? What a good shot I made there. I'm done. All right, I'm done. I'm done boasting. I'm done boasting now, guys. Done. See if I can get out of here now. I should be able to. I've been shooting fairly, fairly decent so far this match. So um there's a good chance I get out of here. Now, shaping the eight ball is probably my most difficult task. Shaping the eight ball. But if I can finish on that um, 14 ball in the side pocket. Oh, never mind, guys. You know, <laughs> I was looking at the four ball up there on the rail, and I thought it was the eight ball. That's why I was saying shaping the eight is hard. In reality, the eight ball is out in the middle of the table, so it's not. it's not hard. It's not hard at all. I just have to buckle down and make these shots. Where am I going? Okay, I can shoot the um, the 10 ball up there in the corner. And then after that, I can make the 14, finish on the 11, and put the 8 down here past the 2 in the bottom left corner. That's my out. It's my out if I don't mess it up. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good to me. I don't know if you can see. All right, guys. I made it up. Oh, my gosh. What am I doing? What am I doing? You know, 
I miss that shot because of because of my horrible singing. You know, I sung, and then I missed a shot. That's what I get. So what I get? Dang it, guys. I may have. I mean, my only my only hope here is that the um, fourteen ball blocks his two and makes his life difficult and he doesn't get out. It's my only hope. Oh, he's playing safety, or he's trying to play safety. It's a smart shot. Even though he double kissed it and didn't hook me, I don't want to hit the 14 here. So I've got to try to do something with... Ugh, honestly, he's, his table's so wide open, it doesn't matter what I do. He's going to get out either way. Uh, if I miss, there's no, there's no real good place to safety him unless I could nick the edge of the 11 and roll up behind the 14. I think I'm going for it. I'm going for the bank, cross corner. Yep. And I went all in with the breakout, too. That's bad. That's bad, you know? I think that particular shot right there could very well cost me this match. It could. See if Billy gets out. He's got a wide open table now, nothing in the way. All he's got to do is keep his head down, play his shapes, and make his shots. It sounds easy. But you guys play pool. You know sometimes it's not that easy. You know, if it were that easy, we'd all play like freaking A players. But we don't because it's not that easy. In order to make it that easy, it takes hours and hours and hours every day on the pool table. The more repetition, the more shots you take every single day, not playing matches, but like by yourself. Like I've been making it a point lately because I've noticed that my my game's gone downhill in the last month or so um, because I've been spending a lot more time editing and filming than I am practicing. So the last week and a half, I've been making a point, two weeks now, uh, to hit, well, my goal is at least 200 balls a day in practice. Not playing with somebody else, by myself, on the pool table. Um, that's 20 10 ball racks, you know. And I'm noticing already that my, my shot making is getting a lot stronger again. So I'm getting back up to where I, I should be playing. I actually dropped down uh, from a 9 to an 8 and 9 ball because I've just been shooting so bad. It's been a, it's been a while since I've been in 8 uh, 9 ball. So that's why I really jumped back into practice because I don't like not playing well. You know, I don't like not playing to my potential is what I don't like. It's a bad feeling when you know you can get out. And you just can't do it like hit like that. What he did just right there. He knows he can make that shot all day, but he missed it. You know, and that's a horrible feeling sometimes when you do that. All right, I've got a combo here. Not easy. Not extremely difficult because that 11 is pretty close to the pocket, but still, it's an off angle cut combo. So, mm. Missed it. Gosh, I, he gave me another opportunity, and I and I didn't want it. Apparently, 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 I did not want that extra opportunity, so I gave it back to him. I said, "Billy, you know what? I appreciate you, buddy, for giving me a chance, but go ahead and take it back." I mean, Merry Christmas, you know, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, whatever, whatever you celebrate, Merry Happy, Merry Happy Feliz Feliz Navidad, you know. Feliz Campleñanos, I think that's how you say it, birthday. Is that how you say birthday? If you speak Spanish, let me know. Campleñanos, did I say that right? Feliz Campleñanos, nah, never mind. I'm going to stick to English, guys. You know, mi español es muy malo. Lo siento. Yo hablo un poquito español. All right, I'm done. Done, guys. I'm done. Oh, why am I such a nerd? You know what I mean? I feel like such a nerd most times. That's just, this is true, my personality. That's how I am. If you meet me in real life, you'd know as well. Like people hang out with me, get, they get irritated by it sometimes. Because I'm, <laughs> I'm over the top occasionally. But I'm also a Gemini, so I do have two personalities. I either have my over the top personality or the um, I want to be introverted, not around anybody personality. So my personalities are complete polar opposites. It's crazy. But I've talked to other people. Uh, who feel the same way about their, and they're Geminis too. They're like, yeah, it's legit. I have two personalities. And don't, before you start commenting, I don't believe in all that astrology crap, but the, the, the twins part, like the two personalities seems to be legit. If you got any Gemini friends or if you're a Gemini, ask them. 
Let me know. Let me know if they tell you they have two personalities or not. Because I for sure do. Sometimes I'm an introvert and sometimes I'm completely an outrovert. You know, is outrovert even a thing? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything, guys. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is the match here, guys. I think it's over. Yup. Bang. I came out strong, got to the hill. He was on one. I just let him back in, guys. I appreciate everybody out there, man. You guys are the best, man. Uh, and I'm not just saying that. You guys, your comments, uh, all the subscribers, all the likes. Um, warms my heart, guys, man. I appreciate you so much. If you want a short rail, I'm going to leave it in the, in the description. Um, leave a comment. I'll respond. I think it's about it, man. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.